Hello, I'm Michael, Michael Richardson, and I'm the Managing Director of The Perfect Little Company, and we do robotic vacuum cleaners. So we uh, looked at all the ways that industry is going to change with the introduction of artificial intelligence and robotics, and one area that we thought we could really help in was in cleaning. A big part of the cleaning job is vacuuming, and vacuuming is a pretty laborious task, it's back-breaking, you're lugging around heavy bits of equipment, finding plugs to plug them in and unplug them, and we thought, well, that'll be a perfect place for robots to be able to help people. The big difference between Abby and the other robotic vacuum cleaners that are out there is actually the Hive trolley. The Hive trolley means you can store, transport, charge uh, 10 robots off a single uh, device, a single plug, and that just makes using them in a big office workspace much, much, much easier. So the big difference is actually the trolley. Performance-wise, a robotic vacuum cleaner will generally outperform a normal vacuum cleaner simply because it cleans all areas rather than just where we can see dirt. When a human goes into a room to vacuum a room, they look for the dirt and will vacuum those areas where they see dirt. Robots don't do that. Robots simply vacuum the whole room and they do it every single day, day in, day out. So ultimately, you do end up with a cleaner surface. From a productivity perspective, uh, one robot will do about the same amount of area as a human does in 15 minutes. So every, if you introduce four robots into, into a zone, then you basically create a whole hour's worth of extra cleaning that can be done for surfaces, for the washrooms, and for the desks, and cabling, and all these bits which normally get missed simply because there aren't enough hours in the day uh, to do every job. So we've got some fantastic customers. We've got a little media company based in London called the BBC. We have a small telecoms company based in Newbury called Vodafone. We are operating in many of the banks in the uh, Canary Wharf and we're in lots and lots of schools ranging from very, very small schools. With a, we have a primary school which only has about 30 pupils to some very, very big schools where they have two or three thousand pupils. And, uh, with all of those, the cleaning staff have been supported by the robots. Ab is not the only robot we have. We have quite a few robots in the range, but I'll give you a little secret. My eldest daughter is called Abigail, so our best robot is Abby, by a long way.